Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Wind Lacquer. In today's video I am continuing on with my huge task of unboxing all of the polishes that I have been neglecting here in my craft room. Over the last couple of months I haven't really opened anything so it's all just been sitting here collecting and waiting for me to share it with you guys. So for today's video we are unboxing a haul from HHC for May I believe. So it feels like a pretty big haul. Let's go ahead and dig in. So those of you that watch all of my videos might get tired of hearing me say it, but prior to this past cluster of videos that I've posted, I was sort of missing from YouTube for a while. And that's why I have so much to catch up on. If you're curious, <laughs> I have a couple of videos up there where I do go into it, a couple of mystery boxes where I do sort of chit chat a little bit about it. But let's go ahead and see what I got. The first one looks like it is a sassy sauce. Now for this one, I do believe I got a few that were over pour. So this one was for May. This is Foot Fetish. This is a beautiful polish. And I mean, look at the blue glow. Again, that seems to be a theme lately. The last couple of hauls that I have had have had at least one polish with that blue glow. And this is in a very interesting, rich, almost like beet red berry, if that's a thing. Like when you think of beets, beets aren't like red red. They're sort of this purpley red. That's what this reminds me of. And then you have that larger particle to blue glow. This one definitely caught my attention and I cannot wait to wear it. I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over again about that fact, but for a lot of these, I'm just super excited to get them on my nails. But yeah, that is a beautiful one. That is Sassy Sauce's Foot Fetish. All right, next up, I think this is the second Sassy Sauce that I got. You'll also see that in this haul, I repeated myself on a number of brands. Like I said, I got some that they were releasing for that current month, and then I got some that were in their overpours. So this is Happy Ending, and this one is an Encore, so I don't know when it originally came out, but I got it for Encore, and this is a beautiful, beautiful combination. So this is a purple base with some reflective glitter, and then that aqua to blue glow. This is another one where the swatches just looked stunning on the website, so I was really excited to grab it. I think I may have missed out on a couple of polishes somewhere over the last few months or so, which wouldn't be surprising because I know I have skipped a number of months of HHC in the past six months or so. <laughs> so it wouldn't be surprising if maybe this was one that I just talked myself out of previously, but now I have it. So that was Sassy Sauce's Happy Ending. Next up, oh, okay, looks like this is Acetone Additive. So this is from Baroness X and this is Coffee Shortbread Cookies. And if you're new to acetone additive, basically what you do with this is you put it in your normal acetone to help sort of tone its harshness down on your nails. It adds moisturizing oils and then of course the fun part, that fragrance. So this is going to be Coffee and Shortbread Cookies. And this is a larger bottle. I feel like this is twice the size. So it's one ounce and you basically put 0.5 ounces into your bottle of eight ounces of acetone and then you mix it up really nicely. And then when you are applying it on your nails to remove your polish, it isn't as harsh as it would have been normally. Ooh. Okay. So with this one, mostly what I'm getting is that sweetness from the shortbread cookies right up front, but behind it is that rich coffee. Ooh. That is going to smell divine. <laughs> I am a huge coffee fan. In fact, I am sipping on some Vietnamese coffee as we speak, as I've been filming all afternoon <laughs> trying to catch up. But yeah, that is going to be a good one. So as I've said in basically every other video that I mention acetone additive in, I use it for every single mani. It's always in my bottle of acetone. It really cuts down on the dryness factor from using it. And I mean, usually I'm changing my nails three times or so a week. I mean, lately I haven't, but when you do, you don't want to use, you know, pure acetone that frequently on your nails because it is so, so dry. So adding acetone additive helps add moisture to it. And then of course, if your nails are still super dry, you can always add some cuticle oil on top of that for extra moisture. But that was the acetone additive. Next up, I got doubled up on Phoenix Polish. In fact, one of them is a duo that came with the sticker. This one was from January. And what is this one called? This is Nothing Else Compares and You Are. So I don't know what the theme was, but I mean, it looks like a boy band to me. I could be totally mistaken on that. 
but let's go ahead and take a look at the duo. So basically Phoenix does duos for almost every single month. So you can get their base polish and then a topper as well. And I thought that this combo was very, very pretty. So the base is nothing else compares. And it is this beautiful, I think, was it a brown? Like a brown or a dark gray. And then it has that beautiful multi-chromatic shimmer on top of it. So rich purples and reds and oranges. This shift I thought was just beautiful. So cannot wait to try that one. This is another in that range of colors that I've been adoring lately. And then the topper is You Are. And I thought this would look nice on a lot of different colors as well. You have hollow, you have that warm sunset shimmer in there as well. So, so pretty. So that is going to be in a clear base. The second polish is always designed as a topper and it's designed to go on top of the polish that you purchased, like the other half of the duo, but of course it can go over any other color as well. So that was the duo. Nothing else compares and you are. And then I did get another from Phoenix. This time I just got, I think the base color and not the topper. And this one was for eight, for May. And this is let me reach new heights. So beautiful color here. Again, I do feel like I'm going to have to do a comparison, but again, I was a little bit worried that if I didn't grab it, it would be one of those FOMO moments. So I did grab it. It is one of those combinations though that I just cannot seem to get enough of. It is a purple. Look at this base. It's a juicy, juicy purple. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. And then it's jam packed full of a red particle that shifts. This one also has silver holographic flakes in it. You guys, I could stare at this kind of a combination all day and be blissful. So yeah, very excited about this one. I mean, look at that metallic red that it has. And then of course the shifts to like this yellowish bronze almost. And then you have green past that. You got the orange. Yeah, absolutely happy with that one. That is so stunning. So that was another Phoenix, Let Me Reach New Heights. And then one more polish that I got for that month. This looks like it is Cuticula. And this one is called Forgotten Lands. And this is one that for sure had caught my eye because look at how many colors there are in this. Wow. In fact, this kind of reminds me of one of the polishes that Mooncat just came out with for their Powder Puff Girls collection. I think it might've been Chemical X that had like a ton of different kinds of flakes in it, similar to this. Although I think theirs was like a squishy black jelly, but this one is a purple. And then it's got all of these amazing flakes in it. Golds, greens, blues, purples. There's fuchsia shifts in there as well. Wow. This is another one. I say it in every video. I, I want this on my nails. <laughs> this might have to go on my nails next. That was Cuticula's Forgotten Lands. So there we have it. That was my haul for May's HHC. Let me know which ones were your favorites down below. For this video, I don't think any of them fall into the regret category at all. I love each and every one of them. So yeah, very happy with the haul. If you're new, definitely think about hitting that little subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And as I've been reminding everybody, I would say definitely hit that little bell notification. That way you don't miss out on when I post my videos, since I don't exactly have a set schedule, I'm sort of winging it <laughs> at this point. So if you want to be notified for when I do post the videos, that would be a great way to do it. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you had a good time and I will see you in that next one.